Today, we are opening a box of delights. A box of tricks. What's in it? What is in this box, this old shoe box? Well, many, many years ago, <gasps> before we started this show... Oh, that sounds like a poem. I am a poet and I didn't know it. But many years ago, before we started this show, I had an old video camera, like one that you could almost put in your shoulder. It was quite big, a camcorder. It, yeah. Like, it was very, very bulky. Yeah, actually it had a, one of those clasps so you could carry it around like this, but it did seem quite big. Um, but it used little mini cassettes. Whatever happened like to those cassettes? Well, they're like... here. We kept them all. <laughs> so this collection of cassettes is from at least 20 years ago. Possibly more. Yeah. And there are so many different things on here. We don't even know what some of them are. They're labeled. Yeah. Some of them just say dates and everything and New York. So that anything could be on them because before Paul moved over here, I was going out there all the time. But we did go to other places and some of those places are mentioned. So we're going to have a little sort of a reminisce about what might be on these. Now I say what might be on them because we can't play them. No, no, we, can't. we don't have a DVD. No, a v, what, what is it? VHS? No, video cassette player. And this also, isn't even VHS. It is. Oh, sorry. It is VHS, but they're mini. Now mini we used VHS. to be able to play them on a converter. You stuck this into a converter, and then it played it out on uh, like a normal sized video cassette. But we don't have a, a video recorder anymore. What happened to the old one? I don't know. Well, it just expired. It just broke down. Yeah. And who uses video recorders anymore? Some people might, but not very many. But anyway, we would eventually like to bring some of this to you. So right now I'm making a plea to anyone out there. Can you tell us how can we transfer this on to digital? How so can we, we do can, it? How can we do it? No, I think there is some sort of converter you can get, but if anyone can help us, yeah, could... if anyone would like to borrow, um, to, to lend, lend the machine to us so as we could, we could borrow it, we'll pay you something for it, but, um, it'll help us. Yeah, I would love to like just watch these. Actually, it's going to be scary because I had hair back then, Paul, didn't I? You were blondie. <laughs> yes, I was blonde. Yeah. Yes, yes, I was a bottle blonde. So anyway, without further ado, We'll just go, one I picked go up. through. The, the first one you picked up was the one which I always remembered that we had. Okay. How do you remember this? Well, we went to Toronto. Uh, it says May 2005. It also says Jersey in July 2005. That's not New Jersey. No, no, that's old Jersey. That's in the Channel Islands. But on this the tour... before I moved over. Yeah, this is one year before you came over. But on that trip to Toronto... Can you remember what else we did? Not in Toronto, but not that far away. Was it Niagara Falls? It was. And can you remember what happened on board the boat when you go down to see the falls? We, we got soaked. Yeah, so you had to wear these like ponchos. And flimsy ones. Very, they were basically plastic bags. Yeah, Yeah. cut. And I remember that water got into the camera. And you thought. And I thought, oh no, it's going to ruin it. But it uh -huh. didn't. Did it, it didn't, no. And it's on this. <gasps> and it also says Jersey. I remember that trip as well. Well, we've only been to Jersey once. So and you've gone more than once. You're thinking of Guernsey, my dear. We went there at different oh. times. But I remember the fabulous beaches in Jersey. And some of that footage is probably on here. And I'm desperate to it see it. It's priceless. It is. Now, this one seems to have been covered up. Oh, this is amazing. What's this this is amazing. I don't believe this. I think I might have taped over something um, because there's a label. It says that we went to Amsterdam in 2003. Uh, we did. And I thought we went later than that, to be honest. I don't remember. Maybe it was, yeah, it does say 2003. I don't remember. Yeah. But anyway, it says Concord's last flight. 
or flights. And I remember this. So this this was in 2003 because I, I think it was the 20th that. anniversary last year I of remember. the last time Concorde flew. And I remember standing on Kew Bridge with lots of other people, plane spotters mostly, and as I am, I love watching planes and trains and buses too. And um, all four, I think it was the four final British Airways Concords all flew in like just a few minutes after each mm. other, all coming from New York and Joan Collins was on board one of them. Mm. Yeah, and it just seems like yesterday. Here we have a trip. It says Dublin and Northern Ireland, September 2003. Now, I have a feeling about this. In fact, I know it because it's all coming back to me now. We actually flew on September the 11th, didn't we? Because it was two years after 9-11. I and think it was a big thing. I think this is when I dyed my hair and my hair was really long. Oh. It was that time. Yes, you wanted to look Japanese, didn't no, you? No, like, I had, like, really long Proper. hair. And, and yeah. I... I think I dyed it or it, it like it was um it was a coppery color no it was like highlights and then yeah my, my hair was really long yes <laughs> but do you remember what happened on Port Stewart Strand during that trip you wanted ice cream oh well, I always want ice cream but on the uh, Port Stewart Strand you can drive your car onto it for a fee these days back then it might have been we free we got stuck we did but fortunately one of the people that we were with was a driving instructor and he knew how to get us out without having to be, I was going to say pulled off, but without having to, <laughs> <laughs> having to be rescued um, by the Coast Guard. So there we go. Now, this is, I'm just delving. I've, I'm not looking really to see what was on these. Um, we're just sort of delving in. And there must be, how many are there? About 40 of them. I here. don't know, but there's a lot. So, right, we'll just pass over some that just say New York because I've got no idea what they might be. This one's interesting though. This is from April 2001 and it says NYC Diary. Now I'm just wondering why is it called NYC Diary? What did would the you, diary be? Did I actually did make, you make a picture diary? Well it might not. I a think video diary. I think I had a prelude to this show way back then because I remember I worked at Teletext and I wanted to leave because not Teletext itself per se, but I wanted to move to New York. This was before we knew that Paul would be able to come over to the UK. And I think I did a sort of a little 10 things I love about New York and bye bye Teletext sort of thing. Mm. I think it's on here. No. What else have we got? We've got your birthday from 2005. Was that the famous velvet cake incident? <laughs> oh, yes. Now tell us about that. I remember us going to um, a dinner. In um, Chinatown, or was it in West 4 in New York? I have no idea. Mm. Um, I remember us being seated. I remember you surprising me, perhaps. And then I yeah. think that you brought the red velvet cake out. And then I was like... I didn't know that you didn't like I it. I didn't know I didn't like it You either. still don't like it. I don't know whether I like it. Sorry. I don't think you do. No, this is interesting. It says SFO. That must be San Francisco. <laughs> January 2006. Oh, uh, my Is that God. right? Yeah. So this, you because you moved over here in 2006. Then, so that was then, the last sort of that, major trip. That was when we celebrated... Was that when we celebrated New Year over there? Yeah, well, it says oh January. Oh my gosh. Because we were there for New Year's Eve. And that was the wettest Yeah. Oh, it was the time. wettest, wettest, um, uh, the wettest December, January that they'd had in San Francisco for 20 years. We couldn't visit the Golden Gate Bridge. We saw it, but it was too windy. And we did take the boat over to Alcatraz, and that's where they actually said it, it was like the worst, um, wettest weather that they'd had there for 20 years and the boat was like swaying all over the place but we did get to Alcatraz but there were a few incidents that <laughs> happened there uh well quite a few actually not all of them good but we went to this um gay bar called the men's room and I can remember that the first thing the bartender said when we went in was he says what brings you to our little <laughs> and I might have to bleep that and uh, and I said, oh, I think I just read about it and saw it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we were the only ones there. But another thing that had just happened, we'd got off one of the trolley cars. They're like two, they're not really trams. They're, they kind of like go 
It's sort of they, like a they tram. break. It's sort of like a tram. They break in the middle, but it's like two separate carriages. And someone got trapped underneath, and they uh, when they were either trying to get on or trying to get off. This uh, is when we were we, already on board. We were getting off for our. Were we getting off to go home at the hotel that we were staying at? Uh, yes. Yeah, so this must have been. Yeah, that's right. So it was the day before we went to the to the bar. That's right, because anyway, we heard this woman screaming, or maybe it was a man, I don't know, but anyway. Um, it was like a, th like, a, like a big thump. Yeah, and so we w when we went to the men's room the next day and we told the bartender this had happened, he said, oh yeah, that was on the news, that person died. So basically the tram had gone over the and had chopped their leg off. I think that they were stuck, actually. Yeah. So very, very unfortunate. Oh, oh Another thing about San Francisco that really put me off is that people uh, defecate it in the street. Mm. They just, I mean, there's a huge homeless problem. Yeah. But people would, we, uh, saw, uh. we saw several people just taking a dump. And also we went to this spot, seemed to be quite sort of swish shopping centre. And it had like in the... Was it near Fisherman's Wharf? I can't remember, but w wherever it was, it had these like sort of like gold coloured bathrooms. And I went into one of the cubicles and there was a Wellington boot in there. I thought, that's weird. And not only was there a Wellington boot, but it was completely filled to the brim with sh There's another one I've had to bleep. And we had a really... Interesting New Year's Eve, New Year's Day there because that's where we celebrated and welcomed in the New Year. Um, yes. Uh, and we didn't pay for our food in a restaurant. We we did a runner, didn't we? Was it a Chinese? It one? was no, it wasn't. It it wasn't intentional. I think we were quite drunk, and we'd asked for the bill or the check several times, and it wasn't. It furnished. didn't materialize. It didn't materialize, and I said, "Well, I'm not staying any longer. Let's go." So I'm very sorry, but you know, there's no proof of it now. I, uh, it's not because I didn't want to pay. It's just you didn't furnish me with the check. So we it, had to go. We had to go. It was New Year's Eve, and there was another thing happened in Union Square, which is like the big sort of like Weren't shopping. Were you area. accosted by a homeless person? Well, I was accosted by someone because I, I always have like my bag. Were they like, my like trying to pull it off you? Well, it, they were either trying to pull pull the my bag off me, or, but what they succeeded in doing was they actually pulled me in circles <laughs> round, and you were accosted. Because you travelled separately to me, because I was coming from the UK via Boston. So I got there from New York because I went from New York to uh, San Francisco airport. And when I got off the car hire that I got, this person just started screaming at me. This other Asian, like just started mm, screaming at me. Outside the hotel. Yeah. And we were staying at this hotel in the Tenderloin. I'm not oh, even no. sure what the hotel was called. Oh, it was a great hotel. And you got a deal through your work. It was only something like $39 a night and we had like a suite. It was like one of the best hotels that we'd ever stayed in up but, to that point. But it was like in a dodgy area? Yeah, the Tenderloin is like one of the roughest areas. But I do remember there were so many things that were good about that trip, like the, the old tram cars. And there was the zigzag street. Oh, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. That? Yeah. Yeah. That but, is where other rich people live. Yes. We could talk about that for a long time. And a lot of it is captured on here. So I so want to see need... this. We need to transfer this onto digital. Have that empire state of mind. So please subscribe. What is this? Oh, second anniversary. It says TT Away Day, September 01. Teletext Away Day. Oh, I remember that. That's when everyone from Teletext had to go on this course, which was basically an overnight stay. A quite a nice hotel, like a country club sort of thing. But we had to take part in all these team building games, including like tug of wars and things. And I'm telling you now, that is a complete load of rubbish. It's a waste of time. That's not how you build teams with people at work. It isn't. I'm sorry. And anyone who does that, well, I'm sorry. That's just useless. Complete waste of time.
The other thing is it says second anniversary, October the 15th, 2001. The oh, hour anniversary. Oh my God, I can't believe it because I sort of think now, I sort of think, you mean second anniversary because we've been together 25 years this year, but in 2001, we'd only been together two years. So that is captured on here. Priceless. What else have we got? Lots of New Yorks. Lots of London. Now, wait a minute. What is this JW? What would JW be? New York, July 2004, JW. July 4th? I don't know. Uh, Were you over during that time? Yeah. You must have come over. I don't know what that is. Amsterdam 2003. So maybe what happened was I had miswritten on one of those other cassettes. Boston 2004. Remember that trip? I don't really remember Boston too much. Well, I'll tell you what, this is not really Boston, but um, if we go back to San Francisco, I had to fly via Boston. And in those days, I flew with American Airlines all the time and I became gold on the American Advantage Club. And when I had my connecting flight, they said that there were some places for first class for members of the Advantage Club. So I thought, oh, I, I want to be first class. So I went up to the desk mm -hmm. and presented my gold card and they said, that will be $180. And I Did said, you want it or not? I said, <laughs> oh, but I've got like miles and stuff. They said, it's $180. Do you want it or not? There's one seat left. I said, I want it. I want it. So I paid the $180. And? And I was in seat 1B or something. It was like right at the front. It was really old fashioned, proper first class, real wide leather seats. It was like just two and two on a wide body, um, not talk about me, the play in the wide body. And I was sitting next to one of the sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, who were the pseudo nuns, they were performers. Well, she told me that she was. Oh. And a jolly time we had the whole way across the US. More New Yorks. Let's see what we've got here. Lots of just New York. NYC 1, 25th of February 2001, the day before your birthday, my dear. Wales, 2003. I can't remember us going to Wales in 2003. You see, I'd be intrigued to find out what is actually on these. New York, lots of New Yorks. Ah, here it is. The NYC Teletext finale. This is the what? one that I mentioned. This is where I. What is this? The season finale. Yeah, this is where I was saying. This is what was the video that I was going to play when I left Teletext to move to New York. Okay. I left Teletext, but I didn't get to live in New York. Any regrets there? Uh, <laughs> not now. I have to say. Um, no, this was your brother and sister. They came. Not your brother and sister. Your brother and sister-in-law. They came to visit us. When was well, that? actually, they came to visit England in September 2003. You were over at the same time, and we weird. went to Brighton. Remember that? Didn't we go to Windsor? I think we went to... Oh, yes, we went to Windsor Castle. Yeah. Look at this. Madrid. <gasps> My sister might be on this. When was this? March 2002. Uh, I don't think I was on it. Ah, you might not have been, because um, it was my camera. This was your last... This is last day in London for you. Octo oh, I know what this was. Uh, this was October 20th, 2001, because you were here <laughs> for 9-11. Mm -hmm. And you were supposed to actually... Um, you would already extended your trip, I think, before 9-11 happened. I think maybe I was over for like maybe three months. Well, what happened was that originally you were supposed to fly back on September the 10th. This mm. was, Yeah. And, 2001. I, yes. And I think that you had ex already extended it. Like by a couple of weeks, and then when nine eleven happened, you extended it, obviously to September. Uh, sorry, October the twentieth. Oh, oh my dear! Oh, Niagara Falls. So the Toronto one must be completely separate. So this is the one where we got wet. So <laughs> there's Niagara Falls water on there. Thanksgiving two thousand and one. Now, I were you where, there for that? Well, I must have been because I've got the cassette to prove it. More Niagara Falls, Brighton, 2002. Oh, that must be the time. Oh. Was that your first trip to Brighton, my dear, when you had fish and chips and lots of beer? No, I think, no, I <laughs> think that the first time I went was in 
2000 or 2001. Well, that was 2001, that one. Oh, oh geez. And what happened on the train on the way back? Somebody got sick. They did. And to be honest, I if you want sick. a whole carriage to yourself, that's the way to go. Well, we're going to wrap this up. The box is empty, but I've got one more here. And all I'll say is, and I don't know why I'm saying this, but maybe it's quite appropriate that this is the last one I show you for now. Because this was when we went to Glasgow in July stroke August 2001. And would that have been the first time that you had met our dearly departed friend, Brian? Brian Deans, who was a great transport enthusiast. He loved trams and he really was one of our greatest friends and he passed away a few years ago at uh, I remember. And it, was, it, was, it was very 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 sad indeed and we went to his his funeral uh, well, i remember the yeah. sightseeing bus yes he took us on the the sightseeing bus yeah. and we got on for free i think because he we knew him yeah well we knew him and he knew the driver. Uh, the driver and everybody who was who was on it so that was like one of our many happy times in scotland well well, just reiterate again, can anyone help us get this onto digital, please? I want to see what is on. Oh, I nearly fell. How many I just, of them I are over there? my own list. Yes, how many are there? Let's count them. Two, no, two, four, six. 37. 37, my age. Boy. Would you like to subscribe? If you liked anything that we've shown you today, hit the thumbs up button. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button because Marcus would like to reach the 1000 mark yeah, or moment. higher. Oh yeah. And if you want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And Marcus does appreciate free coffees if you want to buy him one on the journey to um, wherever we go. Videoing. Yes. yes, there is a link in the description. And again, please help us get these please. on to digital. <laughs> so we much. Need, we really want to see what's on this and we want to share a lot of it with you as well. There's because, so much good stuff. You know, there could be a whole series in this. What is all this stuff? We'll just have to find out. We'll see you next time. Oh, Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.